Roblox sued a YouTuber for $1.6 million. Roblox lost. It's like a Darman video. They lived to regret it. In the battle of David vs. Goliath, David won here. A multi-billion dollar company slinging its meat around trying to just slap a YouTuber with a massive lawsuit somehow lost to that YouTuber. I've covered this story a couple times now, the most recent one being not even a day ago, and it has just been such a wild and wacky ride. It is absolutely fucking goofy. Roblox legal department really set the stupid meter to Wumbo. This was apparently just a complete flop of like a uh, intimidation tactic. I've already given like the full lore breakdown a couple times now, so I'm not gonna go too deep into it. I'll give you the spark notes here for your book report. YouTuber named Ruben Sim. He's made multiple videos exposing some very bad actors in the community, such as open pedophiles that literally admit to pedophilia and preying on kids on the Roblox platform. Well, using the Roblox platform, they prey on kids on Discord, and they're very open about it. Ruben would call them out, try and report them. Roblox didn't do anything about it. Uh, Ruben also called out a former employee of Roblox, who, as the uh, social media manager of Roblox, also was running a porn blog on the side, which was also open and public, so it's just very disturbing. He would highlight these issues, as well as, from what I understand, he also made, like, troll posts on Twitter or something. Again, I'm not super familiar with Ruben's content, so I don't know too much about him. I only know, like, these key facts. And a month ago, the Roblox team slapped him with a lawsuit demanding at least $1.6 million in damages, and this was going to look to be a long court battle that would really fuck Ruben's ass. It's extremely expensive to fight in court for a normal person, but for a multi-billion dollar company, they could have just funneled money into their legal team's mouth for years and kept Ruben bleeding if they wanted to do that. Ruben, in defense of these horrible allegations, and there were some terrible stuff Roblox said that uh, Ruben had engaged in, he was planning to release a three-part series defending himself and highlighting how those were lies, misleading, or just blatantly wrong. And he only released part one before Roblox folded. He posted this tweet just about an hour before I posted my video yesterday, so I looked like such a fucking idiot because I was late to the party here. But in the tweet, he explains that they have settled and that Roblox didn't get any money out of the lawsuit and he gets to keep his channel, all his social media accounts. The only thing is he can't access Roblox anymore, which in that case, I don't even know what the point of living is. If you can't play Roblox, why even exist in this corporeal dimension? So Ruben's going to have to probably struggle through rehab in therapy in order to try and see the value in life post Roblox without being able to access such a sacred treasure of our society, but I'm sure he'll manage. All in all, a pretty good conclusion. Now, I talked about this on stream last night, and there's a few things that I'll just play the clips of now before getting a bit deeper into, but it's not, like, perfect for Ruben because he still may have won the overall case but lost a lot of money doing it. So we have an update to the Roblox situation. This happened right before I posted the video on it, too. So now I just look like I'm way fucking behind here. So, Ruben won. Apparently, according to Ruben, Roblox and him have privately settled so the case won't be going to trial. He gets to keep his social media accounts and he didn't pay Roblox any money. The only caveat is he can't access their platform anymore. So he says if you have a Pacer account, you can look up the full agreement. And I can't show it on stream for some reason because it keeps insta-closing. But I don't have a Pacer account. I didn't even know what that was. I thought that was like the presidential fitness test renamed. Like the Pacer Grand Fitness. But apparently it's like a legal thing where you can look up all these court cases. He had to pay $150,000 to the plaintiff. But from what I understand, that one hundred fifty k didn't go to Roblox. It was to cover all the attorney fees. So he still had to foot a pretty hefty bill. So at the end of all of this shit, luckily it wasn't in the millions, but it still seems like he paid a fucking hefty price. So Ruben really came out on top, albeit down 150k. I don't know who works the Roblox legal team. I guess it must also be children because this shit was garbage. This was apparently just a really frivolous lawsuit that just cost Ruben a lot of money for no reason. So that also makes me doubt all of the other claims. Ruben only posted part one, so he only dissected the first major point against him and pretty much highlighted how it was all misleading and false.
by like the photo the one that he tackled was the photoshop nude photo of a roblox employee he didn't photoshop the photo the roblox employee was literally running a porn blog during his entire time hired by roblox on their payroll so he just went to the porn blog and the dude's posting a nude photo of himself which ruben also posted in order to criticize couldn't he counter sue for defamation i don't think that's a good idea i think all things considered ruben got off really lucky Roblox is a multi-billion dollar company. They could have dragged this shit out into court for a long time and bled Ruben a lot more than 150 k I think all things considered, this is a fat dubski for Ruben, even though it still cost him six figures. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah, so while they may have settled, Ruben still had to pay $150,000 for all the legal fees, which all things considered is a lot less than he could have faced, so... It's still a bittersweet victory. Now, like I mentioned, there was a lot of allegations against Ruben, and they were horrible things. And he had a three-part series ready in the pipeline to fucking fire through the, the cannon, the railgun, right at Roblox in order to defend himself. Only one of them's released, and I thought he did a great job of explaining how it was wrong. And the fact that Roblox has now dropped the entire case against him makes me believe the other accusations were also blatant lies and just wrong. So basically, Ruben paid $150,000 because Roblox wrote some fanfic in a legal document. Now, there is a really big silver lining to all of this, and it's perhaps the reason Roblox decided to settle in the first place. This case was huge. Everyone knew about it, even people that had no clue about Roblox drama or the Roblox community in general, like me, learned about this case because this was a massive deal. And from this, a lot of people also learned of some of Roblox's most awful secrets that they do their best to bury, such as the rampant child abuse, child grooming, and exploitation of child developers or children looking to be developers being exploited by Roblox developers for free labor. A whole myriad of terrible, terrible things came out as a result of Roblox trying to pop its cock into Ruben's mouth. And this is a big deal because now more people are aware of just how fucked up things have gotten on Roblox in certain places, such as the things I mentioned, but that's only the tip of the iceberg. It's also become well known to a lot of people that Roblox has an entire stock market system that incentivizes kids to participate in it. Which leads to them getting, like, addicted to gambling and shit. It's real money, too. It's not, like, fake money. It's real money. There's, a, there's just so much going on with, like, Roblox that makes me scratch my head and wonder, how the fuck did more people not know about it? And it's all because of this lawsuit that now I'm aware of it and so many others are, too. Which, to an uneducated troglodyte reptile brain person like me, makes me believe that this is the reason Roblox decided to settle with Ruben. Because as this case gained more and more steam, more and more people became aware of all the fucked up shit going on on their platform. So they were probably want, like thinking it's not worth it anymore, this is a PR disaster. Because as parents learn that Roblox might not be the safest place for their kids, they're not going to allow their kids to go on Roblox. And that's their entire audience for the most part. It is like 90% children and the other 10% are Roblox developers looking to make games for kids. And now Roblox looks extremely scummy, not just for this lawsuit against Ruben, which now you have to call into question the legitimacy of the claims they even lobbied against him. You have to wonder if any of the allegations they made were even real. So the trust with Roblox as like a, you know, a reliable narrator here is broken. But they're also looked at extremely negatively because it's been proven by People Make Games, by Ruben, by others in the community, that they don't do anything to protect their players. These people have reported bad actors in the community, people that have been preying on kids or grooming kids. They have been reported extensively to Roblox, but they have disregarded it every time because it's happened off their platform. So they've completely washed their hands of it and said, doesn't matter, we're not going to do anything because it wasn't on the Roblox platform. Even though the predators were using their platform to get access to the victims, they still pushed it aside because the actual crimes, I suppose, happened on Discord or somewhere else. But then with this lawsuit, they proved that they do care about off-platform behavior, at least when it comes from a YouTuber troll, I guess. Because they targeted Ruben for off-platform behavior, but they won't do anything for people that are literally preying on kids off-platform, yet still using Roblox in order to do it. 
So it just makes Roblox look extremely fucking shady for this. Their priority isn't in protecting any of their players or making sure that the kids on their platform are safe. Their priority is making sure that a YouTuber can't make a, a mean tweet about the game. Like, it, it makes no sense, and Roblox looks extremely fucking dumb here. So, while Ruben may have lost $150,000 in legal fees, Roblox also lost their public image, I would say. Their reputation is in shambles, if you ask me. For anyone, like, that cares, obviously, like, kids probably aren't gonna even know about any of this. But for parents, this has become a lot more prevalent. Now they know a lot more about Roblox and some of the awful shit that goes on on the platform. And I think that's overall a good thing, because now maybe Roblox will take the initiative and start fixing these problems that have been reported for such a long time that they've been neglecting. So hopefully something good comes out of the whole situation, and uh, hopefully Ruben still drops parts two and three of those videos, because I still think it would be worthwhile to defend himself from those allegations since they were so serious. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to talk about this since it, it all kind of wrapped itself up, and that's about it. See ya.